enterprise or your venture which you are going to start where you want to transform your idea into the product into the startup what is an entrepreneur an individual who undertakes the risk associated with creating organizing and owning a business this way we can define the word entrepreneur entrepreneur an entrepreneur is defined as person in effective control of commercial undertaking one who undertakes a business or an enterprise entrepreneur is an innovative person who is going to maximize his or her profits by following new strategies or venturing into new products or services what do i mean that you have to maximize the profit of your enterprise or the company and it could be anything it could be a product it could be a service it could be a process which you are which you want to commercialize into the market what is your ultimate goal the goal of an entrepreneur is to earn the money because we want to leave the monotonous kind of job and we have to be a job provider rather than be a job seeker entrepreneurship the work the undertaking of such an activity or activities so what is an ent an entrepreneurship if you are having some positive attitude you have zeal you are passionate you are having creative thinking skills you have imaginative mind in that case you can plan to start your business when you are able to understand your abilities to open your business that is called entrepreneurship what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail entrepreneur facts it's not for everybody yes that's right 60% of all businesses ventures fail out of 100 business owners have a higher rate of marriage failure and stress and stress related illnesses than employees 75% of startups and new businesses securing financing through the informal investing grapevine so these are some you know pros and cons of being an entrepreneur what i mean to say not all can be entrepreneur because it requires some specific kinds of skills particularly the strategic skills management skills team leadership skills and of course technical skills in order to lead your business in a right direction and you will be surprised to know that during the last decade so many startups were opened were registered with government of india and only 100 unicorn startups are existing at present because of some innovativeness and other startups failed and their idea died the reason you will be coming to know gradually was most of the startups did not follow the steps of product market fit design thinking concepts and of course you know technology readiness level they did not use any appropriate business model for their enterprise or the company entrepreneur influences circumstances recently laid off or fired can't find a job to match your interest skill set lack of opportunities employment greater pay utilization of talent respect flexibility etc desire for greater comfort more responsibility lifestyle entrepreneurial facts no medical no dental benefits no days off no paid vacations so that's why i told you as a startup founder 
or as an entrepreneur, you are the moderate risk taker. In the beginning of any business or venture, no angel investor, no successful entrepreneur, no venture capitalist is going to provide you any kind of finance. The reason being, you are in the previous stages of your startup, of your business. And that's why I told you to make use of some sort of innovation when you are going to develop some product or going to offer some online service to the end users. Try to disrupt the entire existing market by making use of disruptive kind of innovation, radical innovation, incremental innovation, sustaining innovation. So please do remember, your business will never fail if you are going to validate your idea, if you are going to validate your experimental proof of concept, and based on that, you have to develop, you have to design the prototype for validation, you have to gather the feedback from the end users, and based on that, you have to make certain modifications in your product, you have to add few more features in your online services, in your product, so that the customers will be attracted towards your product and your business will never fail. Nine important signs you might be an entrepreneur, hate the status quo, easily bored, labeled rebel, obsessed, fired from jobs, resist authority, never relaxing, bad at small talk, don't fit the norm, are nine important signs. The alternative, what is the alternative with us? Free yourself, your skills, talents and education provide you with many of the tools you need to establish your own business. All you need is courage. I have already told you, if you have some zeal, if you have passion, if you are a team leader, if you have decision-making power, what I mean to say, dear students, if you are having critical thinking skills, in that case, you can certainly plan for your business. So you must be very courageous. Yes, you must have divergent and convergent kind of thinking. Intelligence matters. Yes, evaluate your passion, question your motives, use your intelligence and the intelligence of others. This is very important because you have to work in a team you have to act as a team leader. You have to express sympathy towards others while you are discussing on matters with your team members. You have to understand them. You have to respect your group members. That, that is the most important part. And that is called empathy, which is the first stage of any design thinking process, which is a non-linear process. Do work that matters. Purposeful engagement, yes. The scientific purpose of passion. Choose your product or service which you want to develop. It could be any kind of product. It could be a you know, solar-based cooler. It could be a air conditioner. It could be anything. It could be any innovative product or it could be a service also, just like, you know, you can develop some online app for the grocery items, for the automobile service. So you have to choose your product, you have to choose your service prior to the start of your business. Know this, business ideas are not business opportunities unless they solve problems. This is very important. Entrepreneur success formula, solving problems. So you must have problem solving skills, critical thinking skills, decision making power. You have to evaluate something and then only you can have some decision. 
you are fulfilling the needs of your customers so you have to understand the needs and wants of the end users and based on that you have to develop your product or service you have to cater to the different desires of the end users so what i mean to say till now you must have understood very clearly we have to work based on the needs of the customers any successful entrepreneur you know they have followed the concept of empathy which is the first stage of any startup cycle they collected the feedback from the customer and based on that they modified the product and then scalability will be there in your business a growth rate will be there you have to learn the six important steps to solving problems identify the problem you first have to identify the problem what is the exact problem it must be genuine it must be technically viable it must be technically feasible commercially viability also has to be checked then once the problem statement has been defined you have to identify its causes once the causes have been identified you have to perform the brainstorming sessions you have to perform the ideation ideation refers to idea generation so once the problem has been identified you have to solve it you have to develop some innovative solution by having a mind boggling exercises or having brainstorming sessions by having ideation techniques so once you are going to generate the idea you have to try to select the best solution for the identified problem now is the time to implement your plan so that's the fifth stage once you have implemented a solution plan you have to follow up you have to evaluate and you have to monitor the progress of your business and after this you know you are going to certainly you are going in a positive direction and you would be able to lead your business in a positive way you can be an entrepreneur yes you must have seen thomas edison what problem did he solve what this me what problem did he solve very body what problem did he solve the types of entrepreneurs around us different types of entrepreneurs are there lifestyle maker entrepreneur who is going to make something jack of all trades slugger entrepreneur do good entrepreneur side entrepreneur travel entrepreneur geek entrepreneur and so many entrepreneurs are around us it is dependent on what kind of business you are going to pursue entrepreneurs fail mostly because lack of funding is there sometimes mismanagement ineffective marketing are the three important reasons for any startup or business and that's why your business fails so please do remember whenever you are planning to start your business please try to find people who can provide you financial support who can provide you some working capital in the initial stages of your business but normally you know the funding support is not there in the beginning and most of the time entrepreneurs have to take help from their family members friends uncle so only relatives are going to help you out no angel investor will be there no incubator support no accelerator so that's why you have to take risk you know, there is no guarantee that your business will succeed uh, so that's why i told you uh, entrepreneurs have to be very courageous this management should not be there it is about time management it is about people management so there must be a clear management of time people management 
financial management. So for this proper management, I would say you have to make use of appropriate business model canvas or lean canvas. And these canvas are the templates and easily available on internet. You can download it and you have to fill it for your business. And I am sure that there will be no mismanagement. So please try to incorporate the appropriate business model. Ineffective marketing. So marketing skills are very important. Even if your product is very highly innovative, having a lot of creativity, but I can give you the guarantee your product will fail. Your startup will lead in a negative direction because you have missed the marketing. So you have to be very careful about the marketing skills and you should have a team of marketing where you are going to promote, you are working towards the branding of your product. So marketing and branding are equally important. So what's the truth? Either you become an entrepreneur or you work for one. So it is up to you. Entrepreneur, somebody who sees a new opportunity and creating a business to exploit it. Strong business acumen, they have strong people skills, tons of courage, they are very open minded, they are very confident, they are disciplined, they are self starters, they are determined, they are very creative, they are passionate, they are highly competitive, they have a strong work ethic, adaptable people, they are fast learners. What I mean to say in a nutshell, it can be said that they are going to exploit the opportunity around them and going to transform their knowledge into wealth. So that is the meaning of entrepreneurship. Which are the 10 common characteristics a successful entrepreneur should possess. Clear vision and objective must be there. Ability to create something, to add value to the product, to the service which you are going to offer. Mastery knowledge about the subject, about the product, which you are going to develop for your company. You must be highly focused. You must have better communication skills. You must have networking skills. You must be passionate. You have to spend more and more time. It is not like a conventional job, dear students, from nine to five, eight hours job. This is not eight hours job. It is your business in which you would have to spend 24 hours also. Sometimes you might be having sleepless nights also. You must be confident. Fortitude must be there. So this is the autonomy of an entrepreneur. So passion, knowledge, courage, all are very much required for being a successful entrepreneur. Personal characteristics of successful entrepreneurs, persistent, he must be creative, responsible, Inquisitive, you must be, have curiosity to know what other people are doing. Goal oriented, independent, risk taker. So entrepreneurship is a process basically. I hope you must have understood. Entrepreneur is a person who is going to start the business once he is or she is planning to run their enterprise or business, developing the product. This is the process which is called entrepreneurship. So entrepreneurship requires motivation, innovation, patience is very important, integrity and communication skills are the most important stages of this particular process. I have already told you you have to innovate your product, 
you have to innovate your service by adding more number of features you have to you have to inspire others because you have to work as a team leader you must be patient integrity is very important about your business and you must have very sound communication skills both oral and written characteristics of successful entrepreneurs you must be self confident passion must be there highly motivated you must have product knowledge which you are going to develop you must have an ability to work together with other people you must be optimistic you should be visionary you should have a very clear and strategic innovative mindset you must have risk taking ability of course creativity must be there if creativity is not there you won't be able to add any kind of innovation in your product so you have to be very careful persuasiveness must be there you must have decision making critical skills tenacity must be there money management that is about financial management and of course adaptability is the most important part for being a successful entrepreneur you must be innovative passionate perceptive risk taker resilience must be there of course you must be knowledgeable very open minded ambitious flexible you must have hunger for something for your you know revenue generation good management skills good leadership skills you must be enthusiastic you have to keep yourself up to date these are all the important characteristics of being a successful entrepreneur when you are going to choose entrepreneurship as your career in that particular case that's why i already told you not all people will be successful entrepreneurs entrepreneurs are very very different from the other people other students skills are very much required about training ability growth advanced training of course knowledge learning competence are the different important skills which are required for being a successful entrepreneur so which are the most important skills leadership skills so you have to lead your team so if team leadership skills are missing then again a problem will be there because you won't be able to establish any kind of harmony with your team members and conflicts will arise in that case your business will fail you must have sound communication skills you have to communicate the right decision to your team members based on the feedback from the customers you have to do planning about your time planning you have to prepare your business pitch you have to present your business pitch in front of outside investors in order to attract finance from them so planning is about time management your people management your financial management your customer management so it is all about customer development process decision making is the most important critical thinking skill so once you have to analyze something you have to observe something based on your observation and analysis you have to make decisions for your business so you have to act like a decision maker for your business you must have sound problem solving skills if you are not having problem solving skills then again a problem will be there and in that case you won't be able to solve the problems of your business entrepreneurship skill set is there if you look at this diagram 
entrepreneurship skills you know first one is having inner discipline ability to take risk you have to be an innovative mindset you have to be change oriented and persistence is the most important part so these are all important entrepreneurship skills but technical skills are equally important for running business successfully so which are those operations specific to industry communications design part of your product research and development and one mental observation are all the most important technical skills for running your business successfully then management skills are equally important it is about planning for your business decision making approach motivation marketing skills financial management and how to sell your product in the market so at this point of time you have to understand about your market segment in which market you are going to launch your product whether you have identified it in the beginning of the business if you didn't identify then it would be a problem because once the product has been developed and you didn't even identify the target market or your customer where are you going to sell your product and that is the reason behind most of the startups you know their reason of failure so they they missed the concept of product market fit they did not identify the appropriate market segment they didn't develop any innovative product they missed the concept of prototyping they didn't follow up the design thinking concept so many reasons are there so creativity is the most important parameter for any successful entrepreneur it could be both you know personal interpersonal so if you look at the personal it is about your optimism reason desire initiative you have to take an initiative you should have desire for something you have to clearly specify the objective mission reason and outcome if you are not able to achieve the desired outcome then your startup will fail you must have interpersonal skills in terms of leadership quality you have to listen to others very carefully you must have professional ethics you have you should have ethical values you have to negotiate also sometimes whenever required which are the practical skills you have to set your goal in the beginning you have to act like a decision maker you have to do lot of planning for your business and you should have the knowledge about your business you should have knowledge about your product which you are going to develop you cannot develop any you know, electronic gadget mobile phone innovative mobile phone if you are working in you know pharmaceutical sciences so definitely you have to choose the appropriate field and uh, any pharmaceutical student would like to develop some you know herbal products or you know herbal sanitizer and there are so many examples so you have, should have a very sound knowledge about your business about your product also skills needed communication skills human relation skills mathematical skills problem solving and decision making skills technical skills basic business skills so human relation means you have to maintain positive relations with other team members with your customers that is called human relation skill you must have some mathematical skills also because sometimes you know uh, some scientific skills are very much required you know when you want to bring you know your technology out of the laboratory so innovation helps in that particular case problem solving decision making skills technical skills and proper strategic management skills are very important 
and whenever you are going to make use of technical skills means you are going to innovate your product by using these skills and of course you if you are going to be a business owner you should have some business related knowledge also so what are the different sources for these skills it is about idea identification if it is about creation then idea and reasoning opportunity recognition ability to acquire information are the different sources whenever you are going to work for creation you are going to create you are going to identify the novel idea on which you are going to work capitalizing on ideas awareness of environment is very important in which kind of environment you are going to set up your business you must have convincing power in order to convince others you should have strong social networking with outside community in order to expand your business when it is about managerial or leadership skills it is about ability to manage it is about ability to develop something developing an innovative idea decision making capability are all under leadership skills or managerial skills which are the important traits or behaviors for a successful entrepreneur ability to manage risk ability to endure so endurance is the most important trait or the behavior for being a successful entrepreneur entrepreneurial knowledge skills competencies and performance if you look at this entrepreneurial skills combined with market orientation is now combined with sales orientation and networking are joined together and then combined and then the input is given to entrepreneurial competencies so whenever these entrepreneurial skills market and sales orientation social networking are combined together you would be able to generate entrepreneurial competencies and once these competencies will be generated definitely your enterprise is going to perform well so don't miss this concept you have to generate the competencies but how you have to combine the entrepreneurial skills with marketing and sales and networking also promoting entrepreneurship engagement it is about access to finance so how can you have finance by taking loans equity funding crowd funding financial education skills and talent it is about workforce training attraction of talent which are the important regulations when dealing with your startup or enterprise or the business simplification of regional regulations government regulations are also there one stop information and support so you have to do regulations also so you have to regulate competencies and culture It is about entrepreneurship in formal education training for entrepreneurs if you are going to have training for you then definitely the culture that kind of ecosystem will be developed and entrepreneurial competencies will be developed among the students knowledge exchange how can you exchange knowledge by having knowledge networks academic spin outs so this is about knowledge exchange customer acquisition is equally important building functional prototypes in order to validate your idea in order to validate your experimental proof of concept try to remember that whenever you are going to register your startup you have to work towards the lean startup methodology software programming creative problem solving strategic thinking networking time management design thinking process communication finance branding and marketing resilience 
sales and marketing, efficiency, curiosity, innovative mindset, fundraising opportunities, pitching your idea, and of course, the smile face. Entrepreneurship development, I already told you, entrepreneurship is a process. So how can you set up a business? First, you have to start with the idea. Once you are ready with your idea, you have developed some innovative idea on which you want to work. Now, once idea is there, you have to do a lot of research and development. You have to do investigations. You have to analyze the things. And once the research has been carried out by you, now it's the time to do some sort of planning for your business. Now you have understood at this point of time that your idea is genuine on which you can work. It is technically feasible and it, you can develop that kind of product. You can address the problem. Once planning has been completed, you, it's the time to have financing from where you will get the money in order to start your business. Location is the most important part. Where are you going to set up your business unit? Where, so that's the most important part. Location means you have to locate the area where you are going to set up your business. And the most important are resources. Of course, it is about financial resources, other infrastructural facilities required for setting up your viable business. So you have to arrange these variety of resources also for your business. Once you have arranged the resources for your business unit, you can now think of launching your product or your service in the market for commercialization, for revenue generation. Important traits. So traits, need for achievement, so striving for performance and setting high goals. Everybody wants to achieve. So first we have to define the outcome and that must be achievable. Need for autonomy, independent decision making is, must be there. Difficult resolving problems on your own. So if autonomy is there, need for power, having control over others in order to influence their behavior, social orientation, easily making social connections, needed for idea realization self-efficacy belief in one's own ability can bring activities to successful ends endurance ability to continue willfully in spite of obstacles and setbacks or the bottlenecks risk-taking propensity ability to deal with uncertainty willingness to of risking to take a loss so that whenever you are planning for a business, there are a lot of uncertainties. That's why you have to take risk. Skills, market awareness, ability to sympathize with the needs of potential clients in business context, creativity, going from different perspectives, turning problems into opportunities, flexibility, ability to adapt to changes in the environment. Physical traits, personal traits, it is about self-confidence, decisiveness, resilience, flexibility, energy and power, willingness to assume responsibility. Motivational traits are need for achievement, that is the motivational trait, which are the value traits, fairness, integrity, honesty for your business driving for excellence, service motivation and customer service orientation, aptitudes, emotional maturity must be there, technical skills, communication skills, continual learning must be there, influencing and negotiating power are all different skills which are required. Entrepreneurship attitudes, if you look at this, you can see here it is about societal attitudes. So starting with intentions, you have some positive intentions. It is in nascent stage, going 
to new one if it is certainly new you are going to establish your business if it is not new you are going to have this continuity you can see here and then there is a feedback loop again you have to go back to your societal attitudes or intentions so you must be ready in order to you must have sociographic and demographic data of your customer available with you about their sex gender age income education ethnicity immigrants you must be ready with your customer profile and what would be the impact impact on industry business growth will be there innovation will be there internationalization will be possible so remember to start with intentions ascent stage to new if it is new you can certainly establish your business otherwise discontinue and go back to the intentions and again try try again what are the which are the different important phases if you look at it is starting from conception form birth and persistence so this is here you can see potential entrepreneur opportunities knowledge and skills nascent entrepreneur involved in setting up a business owner manager of a new business it could be 3.5 years old owner manager of an established business more than 3.5 years old otherwise this continuity will be there in the business and you can come back to the potential entrepreneur where you are going to exploit the opportunities and going to make positive use of your knowledge and skills so it is a conception and you can go from conception to persistence which are the eight important steps to become more resilient you have to accept the changes you have to become a continuous learner you have to take charge of something when you are dealing with your business you have to find your sense of purpose you must have some shifting some you know translation from one skill to another skill that is called skill shift you have to reflect something you have to cultivate positive relationships with others that is called empathy you have to empathize with the end, user, end users and that way you can certainly cultivate relations pay attention to self identity are the most eight important steps for being resilient attitudes self employment intention is there that entrepreneurial training must be there entrepreneurial attitudes are very important information and opportunity seeking creativity problem solving skills self confidence and self esteem goal setting achievement and instrumental readiness social networking and professional contact etc are different entrepreneurial attitudes along with this socio economic factors have to be taken into account it is about parents occupation fully business background discouragement by external environment clear future business idea means of finance etc are all socio economic important factors demographic data must be available with you it is about gender it is about age it is about marital status of your end users who are going to make use of your product or service behavior entrepreneurial behavior is a subset of entrepreneurial activities concerned with understanding predicting and influencing individual behavior in entrepreneurial settings so that way we can define the entrepreneurial behavior grasping opportunity taking initiatives solving complex and real world problems managing autonomously taking responsibility for and ownership of things seeing things through networking effectively to manage interdependence 
putting these things together creatively, using judgment to take calculated risks, are all entrepreneurial behavior attributes. The entrepreneurial behaviors, you see, entrepreneurial individual, skills, same problem solving, creativity, persuasiveness, planning, negotiation, decision making, which are the important attributes, self-confidence, autonomy, achievement oriented, versatility, dynamism, and of course, resourceful. When these combined together, you will be having some intention to trigger the event. Once you have triggered the event, opportunity searching will, will be there and some discovery. Once the opportunity has been exploited, decision to exploit opportunity will be there. If you have taken some decision to exploit the identified opportunity, now it's the time to exploit the opportunity. So it starts from proactivity, then thereafter innovation comes into the picture, then you have to make certain changes, and then you have to exploit the opportunity. Which are the important characteristics of entrepreneurial behavior? Positive mental attitude, good communication skills, need for the achievement, resourcefulness, objectivity and commitment, technical skills and knowledge are characteristics of entrepreneurial behavior. And you should also try to inculcate those within you. Because as a startup founder, you have to think out of the box. It is not a blue ocean. Dear students, it's a red ocean. A lot of competition is there around you whenever you are going to launch your business. So please be very, very careful. Personal attitudes are combined with subjective norms, combined with perceived behavioral control. And these three are combined together at these three attitudes. You would be able to generate entrepreneurial intentions and thereafter entrepreneurial behavior will be there. So how can you have an entrepreneurial behavior? I hope you must have understood. You have to develop personal attitudes. You should have behavioral control. When these are combined together, your entrepreneurial intentions will be there. When you have that kind of intention, you would be able to have entrepreneurial behavior. Entrepreneurial behavior is a subset of entrepreneurial activities concerned with understanding, predicting, and influencing individual behavior in entrepreneurial settings. If you look at the model of the behavior, you will want to know it is about parental styles, authoritative, authoritative, permissive, neglecting. These are the parental styles. Then family structure, single parent families, combined together, leadership style of entrepreneurship, like people-centered leadership will be there, and command and control leadership will be there. If you are combining this parental style and family structure together. Entrepreneurship and the entrepreneurial process. Understand entrepreneurship and the entrepreneurial process. So what is the difference between these two? Entrepreneurship, the process of starting and running one's own business. This involves a considerable amount of risk versus entrepreneurs. An entrepreneur is an individual who undertakes the risk associated with creating, organizing, and owning a business. So that's the difference between entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs. Five steps of entrepreneurial process are discovery, concept development, resourcing, actualization, harvesting. So first you have to discover the insights of your end users. Please do remember, they will never tell you what they want from you. You don't wait for that, that the customer will come to you. They will never come to you. You have to identify, you have to discover their insights and based on that, you have to modify. Once you have discovered, you have to be ready with you know, some paper, a document with concept development that is called 
proof of concept where you are going to justify that you are going to work with feasible and genuine idea resourcing actualization and harvesting are all important steps of this process discovery the stage in which the entrepreneur generates ideas recognizes opportunities and studies the market entrepreneurs consider the following hobbies or skills consumer needs and wants conducting online surveys and passing on questionnaires studying demographic data of the customer that is about discovery where you are going to generate idea how can you develop the concept you have to be ready with a business plan a detailed proposal describing the business idea you have to choose location for your business venture is the business online or does it have a physical location for customers to visit to purchase products services or combinations of these decide yourself if the idea will need a patent or trademark so it is about your intellectual property right i'm not going to discuss here so you have to be ready with innovative business plan you have to identify whether it is going to be online business or you need a physical space it is about location resourcing the stage in which the entrepreneur identifies and acquires the financial human and capital resources needed for the venture setup so resourcing means you have to identify the potential investors who will be providing you the money financial support or you can also apply for loans from the banks other government grants and financial assistance from nearby incubators or accelerators so this is about financial resource human resource capital resource you have to arrange for it actualization the stage in which the entrepreneur operates the business and utilizing resources to achieve its goals or objectives defined by you grand opening of the business day to day operations of the business so actualization means you are going to start your business once your resources have been arranged you are going to operate it on day to day basis and based on that you are going to achieve your goal or objective is the time to harvest the stage in which the entrepreneur decides on ventures future growth development or demise entrepreneurs consider the following in this future plans for the business expansion to additional locations for your business venture company to change structure so what is this so harvesting means you are going to decide about your future growth development customer development or sometimes demise starting a business you have to understand the different procedures and requirements for starting a business you have to develop a business plan you have to acquire finances you have to meet legal and ethical requirements when starting a business how can you develop a business plan a business plan is a detailed proposal describing a new business presented to potential investors and lenders who are going to lend money most business plans are 30 plus pages normally what is the purpose obtain financing banks and potential lenders requiring a business plan helps organize and analyze data critical to new business provides a startup proposal provides an outlining to follow when starting the business components of a business plan it is about executive summary brief one to two page description of the key points of each section of the business plan product or service plan presents product or service being offered unique features of the product or service management team plan is about qualifications of the entrepreneur qualifications of any partners who may be involved in the business venture industry market analysis you have to analyze the customers competition 
industry, demographic data, geographic and economic data. Operational plan includes all processes involved in producing or delivering the product or service to the customer. Organizational plan is about management philosophy of the business, key management personnel, key employment policies. Marketing plan describing how the businesses will make its customers aware of its products or services. The market being served, marketing strategies, promotional plans, marketing budget. Growth plan presents plan for future expansion of the business. Financial plan, including financial statements that would help you out in forecasting about future financial health of the business. Identifying potential investors. Examples, family and friends can also give you the money for your business. Other, other businesses, employees, contact financial agencies also, sometimes for loans, financial grants, and financial assistance. Small business administration, banks, credit unions, insurance companies are there for financial help. Legal environment is equally important where you have to be very careful about permits, certifications, or licenses, contracts, zoning laws, and of course about taxes when you are going to start business. Protecting your business, it is about protecting your intellectual property of your business venture. You can protect it with the help of different kinds of intellectual property rights. In India, usually we are having six to seven trademarks. You can have go for patenting for your new technology or invention. There is some you know, artistic and work is there or, or aesthetic work is there in that case, literary work. You can go for copywriting. So that way you can protect your intellectual property. Is about your business. Say your product of your company is highly innovative. You don't want to have any kind of disclosure in front of the public. In that case, you can, or it is highly innovative. So in that case, you can go for it is design patent. If its design is unique, industrial designs I am talking about. If it is about your logo, brands, text, then you can certainly go for trademarks. And uh, copyrights, I have already told you, if it is literary or dramatic artistic work, drawings, books are all coming under Copyright Act. Thank you very much. Thank you to all for being with me during this impact lecture session, phase two of Ministry of Education Innovation. Sir, it's over to you. Thank you. Any yes, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your uh, very informative talk. Now the session is open for discussion. So if anybody has any uh, queries, uh, you can proceed. You can unmute yourself and you can ask the resource person. You can also use the chat box. Okay, so if nobody has any doubts, uh, yes, sir. Thank you very much, Dr. Baskar Gupta, sir. But I have a small query for you. 
yes, being yes, a science institute. institute. Yes, sir. Being a science institute, we have so many BSc, UG, PG students. So as you, it was a very informative talk regarding entrepreneurship and uh, its future plans, how you are supposed to plan. So what, what kind of inputs, uh, what kind of uh, examples you can give as entrepreneurial ideas to our uh, UGPG students in just a brief, sir. See, yes, so, see, boss, we are having a science college here. So, you can uh, you know, enter entrepreneurship as I already told you. See, I am the startup founder. Actually, yes, you know, any student can register their startup, his or her startup with Government of India. And being a science student, see, you can uh, work in different directions. I told you it could be a product also, it could be a service. So, if you are highly interested in some coding skills, you know, you are competent enough in languages. So there you can develop some online app. Because in the past decade, many science students I have seen started their own startup uh, in uh, related to online applications. You can develop some online application related to education. Like you can compare it with Baiju's or different other online apps. Recently, I visited Guru Govind Singh in the first university. The students have developed their own education online website, which is very different from Baiju's and offering some additional features. So this is the one, one case in which you can offer some sort of service. This is the service sector. So you can develop some online app related to the grocery items. You can you can help out the people we have to go to the nearby shops in order to you know have if having some problem related to automobile so my student has developed one app where you will log in and you will be mentioning about your problem what is the problem based on that the concerned person will be contacted and he will himself come to your place for looking after your vehicle you can also go into different other sectors like you know product based sector is there so if you are really interested in electronics so you can develop some electronic product highly innovative product you can go into the you know but it must have some societal impact so you can work in the direction of agriculture also you can develop some new innovative you know tool related to agriculture you can work in the service sector also, in the food sector. I am the startup founder for the food company. So it's not a technical startup. So we are into food service sector. What we are doing, we are getting a contract from the five, six mess of the college. And our students are visiting the nearby colleges for getting contract from them. And once we get the contract, we are going to get the food ready from outside by ha having some collaboration. And we are procuring the food from there and going to deliver to the concerned customers. So this is my own startup. And uh, six, seven students are involved in this startup. And we have generated a revenue we are generating since last one year. Now we are paying salary, you know. To three, four students, my startup is, is paying salary to these guys. So it is up to you uh, in which uh, sector you want to work as an entrepreneur. But I already told you, you have to be courageous enough because there is no guarantee, because a lot of competition is there, whether you will succeed or not. So you have to be a risk taker there. So please try to, and I would suggest. Uh, because you know service sector is uh, getting into service sector is very easier so you can have some online applications for the identified problems cloud based you can work in the iot also so or if you don't want to go into technical one so i have told you you can go into the service sector also you can provide you can register your startup where you can provide service to the customers you need not to have any kind of infrastructure. You collaborate with the outside companies and provide service to the customer. 
that that way you would be able to simplify your problem and for this you can approach the nearby incubators in your area or accelerators where you can get support from the incubator in terms of seed money financial support co working space mentoring support everything will be provided to you thank you yes sir thank you thank you very much sir uh, yes sir. now i would i would like to uh, welcome our beloved principal ma'am uh, dr shrimati jayesh kavlekar ma'am to address the session over to you ma'am thank you yeah good afternoon everyone in fact almost right from morning uh, honorable members of the ministry of education innovation cell and icit respected resource person of today's webinar dr bhaskar gupta innovation ambassador ministry of education innovation cell government of india management members iics team members both staff and students all my colleagues and other student friends i'm really very uh, delighted to be a part of this webinar conducted under the impact lecture series under the iic program sponsored by the ministry of education innovation cell and aicte basically a program to generate awareness among student faculty members on innovation ipr and startup today's webinar on entrepreneurship as alternative career option organized by our college under iic are lessai in association with IQAC. For this, we have an we had an eminent speaker, Dr. Baskar Gupta, Innovation Ambassador, Ministry of Education, Innovation Cell, as a resource person, sir, in a very lucid way presented right from the basics. Who exactly is an entrepreneur? In fact, an individual who is independent-minded, innovative people who are on the quest to create unique products and services. Sir also highlighted about the qualities of an entrepreneur. what do we exactly mean by entrepreneurship and what are the life skills required for being a successful entrepreneur and how the entrepreneurial skills are transferable to almost all spheres of life and careers yes today india is really witnessing the growth of entrepreneurship like never before and is therefore ensuring that entrepreneurship is embraced as a career choice by youth even as sir mentioned multiple initiatives have been launched to increase the creation and growth of new ventures today we also have ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship several educational institutes also are also providing entrepreneurship courses the current ecosystem for entrepreneurship is vibrant entrepreneurship is therefore a great way for young generation to explore their areas of interest and career orientation and has become one of the significant career choices being pursued by the youth sir it was really a wonderful presentation uh, sir on behalf of our management entire faculty and the student community and my own i thank you for accepting our invitation and for gracing the occasion thank i would you. also like to thank the authorities of the ministry of education innovation cell and aict for sponsoring and giving us an opportunity for conducting impact lecture sessions thanking each one of you I conclude. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now I would like to request Dr. Gangadhar B. Sir, Internship Coordinator, IICRLSI, to commence the vote of thanks.
Thank you, sir. As we end this session, I would like to request everyone to fill the feedback form. It has been sent in the chat box. Thank you. Shall I leave now? Yes, sir, you can. The feedback has been sent in the chat box. I request everyone to fill it. Yes, sir. 